See how simple it is to set up your very own drip and grow dual top feed grow system. Here's what's included. One 55 gallon blue food grade water reservoir. One reservoir valve assembly kit. One three foot three eighths of an inch diameter black hard tubing. One drip and grow control module with end caps. One Apollo 6 timer. One high quality water pump. One 10 foot roll of three quarter inch black tubing. One 10 foot roll of three eighths of an inch black tubing. 12 four inch feed line assembly with reducer elbow. Six feed line assemblies with flow adjusting clamp. Six blue four gallon grow buckets. Six black mesh short two gallon grow inserts. Six black zip ties. Six three quarter of an inch tub outlet T fittings. Five three eighths of an inch click clamps. Four 21 inch pieces of three eighths of an inch black tubing feed lines. And four 24 inch pieces of three and a quarter inch black tubing return lines. Now, let's arrange and assemble the drip and grow buckets. Insert 3 quarter of an inch tub outlet tees into drip and grow sites and make sure to have washers on both sides of the blue grow site for watertight seal. Place the black mesh 360 degrees short grow inserts into the drip and grow sites. Arrange drip and grow sites to match the lighting footprint of your garden. Make sure sites are at same level as controller for the drip and grow system to operate properly. Now, let's assemble the drip and grow controller. Attach the included suction cup bracket and pump filter to water pump. Place water pump on its side in bottom of controller bucket. Attach 3 inch piece of a half inch black tubing to pump output connection and connect to half inch fitting at the rear of the controller. Pull power cord from pump through the hole in the lid of the controller. Attach drain assembly found inside of the controller bucket to the half inch barbed T fitting on back of distribution manifold. Next. Let's connect the drip and grow controller to the return lines. Remove one of the three quarter inch black easy pull end caps. Connect the first end of the three quarter inch black 10 foot tubing roll to the output fitting. Cut a length of three quarter inch black tubing to the desired distance between the drip and grow controller and the first grow site. Connect the second end of the cut tubing to the three quarter inch tub outlet tee on the first grow site. Repeat this process for each 3 quarter inch return line to each front grow site. Now, connect the 24 inch pre-cut 3 quarter inch return line between each of the tub outlet tees to the back grow site to connect the system. After all return lines have been attached, connect the removed easy pull end caps to the now exposed output fitting at the end of each 3 quarter inch return line. Flooding will occur if you fail to cap each return line end. Now we're going to connect the drip and grow controller to the feed lines. Attach drip line assembly through keyholes in top of black mesh insert on all the grow sites and connect to feed line assembly with flow adjust clamp.
Remove one of the three Easy Pull end caps from one of the Drip and Grow output fittings. Connect the first end of the 3 8 of an inch black tubing roll to the output fitting. Cut a length of 3 8 of an inch black tubing, matching the desired distance between the controller and the first grow site. Connect the second end of the cut tubing to the 3 8 of an inch feed line assembly on the first grow site. Repeat above process for each 3 8 of an inch feed line to each front grow site. Now connect the 21 inch pre-cut 3 8 of an inch feed line between each of the feed line assemblies to the back grow sites to connect to the system. After all feed lines are attached, connect the removed easy pull end caps to the output fittings at the end of each 3 8 of an inch feed line. Flooding will occur if you fail to cap each return line end. Connect 3 8 of an inch drip assemblies to 3 quarter of an inch tub outlet tees using the supplied black zip ties. Next, let's connect the reservoir to the drip and grow controller. Remove Reservoir Valve Assembly Kit sticker from Base of Blue Reservoir. Insert the 3 quarter inch grommet into the base of the blue reservoir. Lubricate the Reservoir Valve Assembly with vegetable oil and insert into grommet. Locate the reservoir where it will be easy to fill and within three feet of the drip and grow controller. Elevate reservoir approximately four inches. Fit the first end of the three foot section of three eighths of an inch black hard tubing into press fitting of reservoir valve assembly. Now connect second end of the three eighths of an inch black hard tubing to the drip and grow controller Set up the Apollo 6 timer and you're ready to start growing with Drip and Grow. The recommended feeding schedule is two times per day. The first time is one hour after your lights come on and the second time is two hours before your lights turn off. Now you're ready to get growing. Drip and Grow is available at your local indoor garden center. Find a dealer near you on our site www.flow-n-grow.net